So I'm making a complete loop around. Now I have been kicking up some mud right there. We do not like that. Baby, where you think you're going, sweetie? You gonna ride with daddy? You wanna ride with dad or what? I'm not gonna touch the motor. Sweetie, was you planning on riding? Oh, Lordy. It's like, I'm just gonna swim across the pond to the other side because Stella's bothering me. Stella, you can't be bothering her. Sweetie, you okay? Whoa, see, that's what it keeps doing. Why is it coming up out of the water like that? Is that normal? It has completely come up out of the water. How did that happen and why is it happening? It literally come up out of the water on its own. You guys saw that. I'm just, this, I'm using the, the foot controller, the foot pedal. For some reason, what is it doing? Guys, this might be the Native Americans trying to tell me something. Could this be the natives? The indigenous people saying, uh, 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 we don't do all that mechanized stuff. You wanna, you wanna ride a boat, you got one right there that we will accept. We ain't gonna accept all this nonsense. And they may be onto something. I might should reconsider. Don't leave me now, sweetie. I need you more. I need you now more than ever, baby. I believe at this point here we are buoyant we are in water deep enough to crank up the motor and let our boat run for a little bit there we go you can see how deep it is here the trailer is all the way submerged uh, we we're in plenty deep water. I'm not concerned about that at all. I did not disconnect from the trailer, so we're not gonna like drive the boat around and stuff like that. Even though I do have a trolling motor, I could absolutely do that if I wanted to. I would not want to drive the entirety of the pond using the big motor in case you end up running across, you know, getting in mud and stuff. You don't want to tear your propeller up. But, um, actually, you know what? We're going to do that. I do want to test out my trolling motor and get make sure everything's working proper. So, what's it going to hurt? Really, what's it going to hurt? All right, we have disconnected from our trailer. We're going to slowly back this thing up. So far, so good. I have to be very careful. I do not want to run back up over the top of the trailer. And before I load it, I'll have to make sure that I pull the trailer up out of the water a bit. All right, we've cleared the trailer. At this point, I'm gonna put my boat in neutral. Go ahead and turn off this motor. And we're gonna use our trolling motor to navigate ourselves around the pond. You can't come, sweetie. You stay where you're at. Oh no. Look at our chauffeur, our driver there. Yeah, there's our driver. She's ready to help out however she can. So I don't really know. I've never learned how to use a trolling motor I don't know why it keeps popping up out of the water like that. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know it's foot, it's foot controlled. How do you steer it though? There's nothing to steer by. 
and I'm not sure. I don't know how to turn it. All I'm, and then why does it keep popping up out of the water like that? All right, so I have a lot to learn about this boat, guys. This, don't forget that we've had the boat, uh, Aunt Joanne and Uncle Raleigh, we got the boat from them. We done a lot of work to the boat to get it, uh, to get it running. We've got some accessories put on the boat, but this is one accessory that I've never learned how to use. Now, the problem right now is the trolling motor is actually down into the mud. Well, I may have got myself into a bad situation here because I don't really know what to do. Up, trim, and... Oh, wait. Up, trim, and down. Oh, that's the motor in the back. That's the back motor. That's controlling the back. The big motor. Sweetie, I don't know what I'm doing here, sweetie. You might want to just watch out, though. So what I'm gonna do is turn this knob down to a lower gear. I don't need to be going so fast at whatever I'm doing. Okay, well, I'm doing something. So I'm watching. So as look at the little thing right there. As When I pull back, it turns that way. When I go forward, it goes that way. We wanna turn that way. So I don't know if I'm going the direction of the big, the big fat part of the arrow or the little tip of the arrow. I'm guessing tip of the arrow. No, no. I'm moving, but not in the right direction. I'm not moving in the right direction at all. Let's change this to a higher setting maybe. I don't really know what's going on here, Francis. So Y'all bear with me. Oh. Oh, okay. Now. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay. I remember Sean uh, keeping it Dutch when he came out to visit. He and I took the boat out. And he was showing me all this stuff, but I forgot. It's been so long ago. All I wanted to do is get my boat out and run it a little bit. It hasn't been cranked and run since last summer. And that's all we're doing. We're blessed the pond is full enough to do this right now. All right, well, that was a fun adventure. It's nice to be able to get the boat out and uh, not have to take it to the lake or anywhere else to get it to run for a few minutes. Hooked up the tractor, backed it right up, cranked it up, let it run for 10 minutes or so. I played around with the trolling motor. Everything's, everything seems to be in good working order. Something my dad taught me that I've never forgotten is that uh, moving parts, things that have moving parts need to be moved. Yeah, you cannot have things that have moving parts sit idle for too long. They begin to freeze up, rust, and all kinds of things can go wrong. So when you have some kind of a mechanism that has moving parts, it has to be moved. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. Something like that.